This is part 2 episode 1. Let's go. I have eaten so many grilled fishes from others. No matter whether you absorb him into the Tang sect to protect him for a certain distance, so that he would not encounter any danger from soul beasts, Tang Wai also stood up and said with a smile, you are really smart this time, because you think the same as I do. The conversation between Bei Bei and Tang Wai originally planned to take some grilled fish on the road, but now it did not come true. He did not want to reveal his identity as a soul warrior, so he did not catch fish again. His mother taught him to only talk about three pointers when meeting people and don it throw them all away. One heart although he had a good impression of Bei Bei and Tang Wai, he still chose to separate from them after eating. Although Hua Yu Hao is young, he has a lot of thoughts. He can tell that Tang Wai and Bei Bei are not ordinary people, because as Bei Bei said said that this is the wilderness here, but they didn't even have any burdens on them. So in the end he thought it would be better to separate from these two brothers and sisters as soon as possible. After a good meal, Hua Yu Hao's exhaustion had completely recovered. He marked it on the map. I learned the location of the creek before, so maybe I can still use it when I come back. Not long after I went forward, a wooden sign on the side of the road attracted Hua Yu Hao's attention, 50 miles ahead, we will enter the territory of the Star Do Great Forest. There are spirit beasts infested. Be careful. Sure enough, he was right, and finally arrived at his destination. At this time, apart from excitement, Hua Yu Hao was somewhat nervous. He touched the white tiger dagger on his back. He suppressed the uneasiness in his heart, and walked forward with firm steps. Soul Master is the only way out. This is the obsession in Hu Yu Hao's heart. He will never regret his decision. The air gradually becomes cooler. Apart from the coolness, it also seems to have a special solemnity. The Star Forest is like a bird with its mouth wide open. The Soul Beast is waiting for the opportunity of a young life to enter or devour. After all, Hu Yu Hao is still young. After being surprised and nervous for a short time, his emotions turned into excitement. After walking for so many days, the destination has finally arrived. As long as he thinks that he may obtain a soul ring and truly become a soul master, his blood boils. For this day to come, although he is only 11 years old, he has been cultivating hard for more than five years. In a state of excitement, Hu Yu Hao subconsciously accelerated his pace of progress. He couldn't wait, and was moving forward. Some weird feelings appeared in his mind, Hu Yu Hao only felt a slight tingle in his eyes, he subconsciously moved his soul power into his spirit eyes, and a weak air flow circled around his eyes, Hu Yu Hao seemed to see a road on the left side of the road ahead. The black shadow disappeared in a flash. As an extremely rare spiritual mutant martial soul, the spirit eye has a strong warning ability. The sense of crisis made Hu Yu Hao's reaction sharpen. His body quickly fell to the left, and his right hand quickly pulled out the white tiger from behind his waist. Dagger, a black figure flashed past where he was before, and pounced on the ground nearby. Hu Yu Hao immediately saw its appearance clearly. It was a baboon with a height of about one meter, with brown and yellow hair all over its body. It has long hair, brown eyes, a pair of unusually long arms, sharp nails on its claws, exposed canine teeth on its lips, and a fierce light in its eyes. It missed a single hit. It immediately let out a low-pitched roar at Hu Yu Hao, kicked off its powerful hind legs, and rushed towards Hu Yu Hao again. Although Hu Yu Hao's soul I has not yet attached a soul ring, its basic function is quite good. Under the infusion of soul power, the movement of the pounced baboon is much slower in his eyes. Hu Yu Hao fell to the ground before, and quickly moved to the left rolled, jumped up, fell back a few steps, and at the same time raised the white tiger dagger to his chest. The nervous heartbeat sounded clearly, and Hu Yu Hao's breathing became obviously fast. The palm of the white tiger dagger was already covered with sweat, and he was a little at a loss as to how to deal with it. The baboon missed two consecutive hits, and seemed to be irritated. He raised his upper body, and punched his chest with both fists. Hu Yu Hao opened its mouth wide, and suddenly, a ball of white light spewed out from its mouth, flying straight towards Hu Yu Hao. At this moment, even if Hu Yu Hao had no experience, he could tell that what he was facing was a soul beast. There is a certain distance, and he is not half prepared. He is about to be hit by the white light ball. With his current cultivation base, once he is hit, it is likely to be a disaster. Hu Yu Hao's mind is blank at this time. 
The speed at which the white light flew seemed to be unpleasant, but in fact it arrived in front of him in an instant. At the same time as the white light was spewing out, the baboon himself rushed towards Hu Yuhao, with a fierce look in his eyes. The white light had already arrived in front of him. With the instinct of the body, he subconsciously raised the white tiger dagger in his right hand and was hit by the white light. At this moment, a strange scene appeared. At the same time as the white light hit the white tiger dagger, the baboon had already rushed forward, with a pair of slender arms stretched forward. The clawed palms grabbed Hu Yu Hao's shoulders at the same time. At this point in the battle, it seemed that Hu Yu Hao's fate was already doomed. Is he really about to perish under the claws of this soul beast? The baboon grabbed Hu Yu Hao's shoulders, and its strong body turned around in the air with the momentum. It was about to throw Hu Yu Hao out. His body seemed to stiffen for a moment. Hu Yu Hao, who was supposed to be smashed to the ground, was thrown away, but the baboon rolled on the ground and then stopped moving. Bang, Hu Yu Hao's body hit the tree trunk not far away. He only felt that his eyes were dark, and the severe pain made him instantly lose the ability to breathe. At this time, Hu Yu Hao looked really miserable. There were several long blood stains on both shoulders, and his shirt was almost torn. However, he also after waking up from this severe pain, he subconsciously looked at the lying baboon. A faint white light appeared on the baboon. Gradually, the white light slowly condensed into a white halo above its body. It wasn't clear, and the light was also faintly visible, but it still made Hu Yu Hao stunned. Soul ring, is this a soul ring? Hu Yu Hao was so excited that his body even trembled a little. The wounds on his body seemed to be less painful. In the Duke's mansion, he had only learned the most basic meditation methods, but he had heard too much about soul beasts and soul rings. The guards in the Duke's mansion would often mention these things, but this was the first time he saw it with his own eyes. Could it be that it was dead? Hu Yu Hao thought blankly that the soul ring would be released only when the soul beast died. But how did it die? At this moment, the role of the spiritual eye was revealed, and memories flooded his mind like a flood. The moment the white light from the baboon hit the white tiger dagger, the white tiger suddenly shone brightly, absorbing all the white light. This also changed the entire situation of the battle. The most critical moment. According to the fighting instinct of the baboon, Hu Yu Hao, a weak human being, will lose his combat power after being hit by its natal soul ability, and then he will be smashed to the ground by it. At least half of his life will be lost. Unexpectedly, Hu Yu Hao's white tiger dagger subconsciously dispelled his natal soul skills, and when it grabbed Hu Yu Hao and flipped his body over to throw Hu Yu Hao out, Hu Yu Hao also swung his arms up under the action of his body's instinct, and the white tiger dagger in his right hand was very sharp. Lifting up naturally, the length of the white tiger dagger was originally not enough to reach the baboon that had already vacated into the air, but at that moment, a ruler long sword light was suddenly released from the white tiger dagger, passing by the baboon, as if to absorb the white light that had been sucked in before. Turned into sharpness although Hu Yu Hao's mind was blank at the time, and he couldn't remember exactly where he was slashing, what is certain, is that the sword light must have slashed on the baboon, and I actually won. Hu Yu Hao looked at the white spirit ring, but the excitement in his heart gradually disappeared. Soul rings are necessary for a soul master to advance, but not all soul rings are suitable for soul masters to absorb. Only the soul rings that are highly compatible with their own spirit can be better absorbing a good soul ring will bring more powerful skills to the soul master the strength of the soul ring is distinguished according to the cultivation years of the soul beast. The white soul ring represents the 10-year soul beast. All soul beasts with a cultivation level between 10 and 100 years will have a white soul after being killed. The ring output is undoubtedly at this time. The baboon killed by Hu Yu Hao's luck at this time is a 10-year soul beast. The 10-year soul ring also clearly appeared in front of Hu Yu Hao. Unfortunately, this is not the soul ring he can absorb. Although Hu Yu Hao he has no experience in hunting spirit beasts, and he can't tell what kind of attribute this baboon exists, but he can be sure that this baboon is definitely not a spirit beast with a spiritual attribute, and its spirit ring is even more unsuitable for him. Just when he was about to stand up, his whole body felt sore and limp. Excessive tension made him unable to use any strength at this time. In addition, the pain in his shoulders made him groan and almost fainted. After all, he was only 11 years old. He had just experienced a big change and even his determination was shaken a little. 
The number of spirit beasts is extremely rare. This is only the first soul beast he encountered, and it was only ten years old. It has almost killed him. What if what about meeting a century-old soul beast? He has no chance of being spared, luck can't stand by his side every time, and the momentary magic shown by the white tiger dagger just now obviously can't make up for his weak ability, what should I do? Hui Yu Hao struggled to sit up, leaning against the big tree he hit earlier, panting heavily, I cannot die, I will definitely succeed, I still have to seek justice for my mother, I cannot just give up, Hui Yu Hao gritted his teeth and constantly strengthened himself in his heart however, the scene of the brief fight with the baboons before kept telling him in his heart what it means to be overwhelmed. When Hui Yu Hao was full of bewilderment, suddenly, without warning, a voice sounded in his mind, finally let me go. I met a human being with a spiritual attribute. It's a pity that I cannot shed tears, or I must have burst into tears. Hui Yu Hao was taken aback. He did not understand why a voice suddenly appeared in his mind. At this moment, the person under him the ground suddenly trembled without warning. Cracks began to appear on the ground two meters ahead. The cracks gradually became larger and became cracks. A faint golden white light could be seen shining from the cracks. What, what is this? Another soul beast. Hui Yu Hao subconsciously clenched the white tiger dagger tightly and looked nervously at the gradually expanding crack. If it wasn't for the weakness of his body, he might have already run away. A trace of icy chill emanated from the crack in the ground, and the surrounding temperature began to drop significantly. The area where the crack appeared it got bigger and bigger, and after a while, it reached a diameter of 5 meters, and the golden white light finally revealed its true face. It was a round head, which looked fleshy, and it was more than 1 meter in diameter. It wriggled and crawled slowly. When it came out, it was more than 7 meters long. With its appearance, Hui Yu Hao's breath began to form icy mist. The icy cold couldn't help but make him shiver several times. This guy who is definitely a soul beast looks like a silkworm baby. However, it is not known how many times larger than the ordinary silkworm baby. Its body is white jade, crystal clear. Although it was drilled out of the soil, there is no dirt on the smooth skin. The halo is flowing under the epidermis. The most peculiar thing about the small golden eyes, is that starting half a meter from its head, there is a circle of golden lines at intervals. From the beginning to the end, there are a total of ten golden lines. Looking at its huge body, Hui Yu Hao is already nervous. With such a huge body and the ability to change temperature, it is at least a century-old soul beast. It's over, it's over, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, brother won't hurt you. The previous voice was in Hui Yu Hao's mind again the huge silkworm baby nodded to him. Its huge head hung down and stopped one meter away from Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao was surprised and said, it's you talking to me. Huge the silkworm baby nodded to him, and the voice still rang in his mind, of course it's bro, are you fascinated by my beautiful body? Hui Yu Hao didn't feel any malice from this huge silkworm baby, and Hui Yu Hao's tense heartstrings followed suit. He relaxed a little, what are you going to do? Silkworm baby said, let me introduce myself first. I am the incarnation of heroism and chivalry. I am the king of soul beasts, with equal emphasis on wisdom and beauty. I am a peerless powerhouse. I have cultivated for a million years and created the longest lifespan in the Doluo continent. Recorded Tianmeng Iceworm well, you can call me brother Tianmeng. Hui Yu Hao's eyes froze instantly, hundred, million-year-old soul beast. This is ten thousand times different from his judgment, and is there really such a million-year-old soul beast in this world? The most powerful soul beast on the Doluo continent should be a hundred-thousand-year-old soul beast. Tianmeng I Silkworm proudly said, Are you surprised? Are you excited? You are the first human being who can see the main body of this power. Hui Yu Hao said blankly, Then what are you going to do? Tianmeng Bingsan's voice suddenly became solemn, Brother wants to be your soul ring, the unprecedented first wisdom soul ring on the Doluo continent. Hui Yu Hao stared at Tianmeng Bingkan in front of him dumbfounded. Lost the ability to think. It all happened so suddenly. He certainly longed for a soul ring, but all he wanted was a ten-year soul ring. He never had more extravagant wishes. At this moment, he suddenly drilled down from the ground. Hui Yu Hao produced a huge and talking silkworm, 
and told Hui Yu Hao that it was a great million-year-old soul beast and was willing to become his soul ring. Whether it is true or not, the huge baby silkworm in front of him is not something he can compete with. The huge head of the Tianmeng iceworm looked vigilantly in the direction of the Star Do Forest, then turned back to look at Hui Yu Hao and said, I'm going to start now, don't worry, I'll take it lightly and it won't hurt you too much. You. Before Hui Yu Hao could object, an extremely cold breath made him lose consciousness in an instant. He just vaguely saw the white thing rush towards him, and in the next moment, all the ability to think had gone away from him. The ten golden halos on Tianmeng Bingsan's body rhythmically seemed to come alive. The white thing that Hui Yu Hao saw the strange thing is actually Tianmeng Ice Worm sticking its head over his forehead. Ten golden halos quickly enveloped Hui Yu Hao's thin body, while the Tianmeng Ice Worm itself turned into white halos and poured into his body continuously. It's too weak, it's too weak, it's too miserable poor. How many seals do I need to attach to myself to let your weak body bear this wisdom soul ring? It's really not a good thing. A layer of invisible mental fluctuations rushed into Hui Yu Hao's body. When it spread outwards from it, the terrifying spiritual power covered almost every corner within a hundred miles in diameter instantly. Bei Bei and Tang Yue, who were speeding up and trying to catch up with Hui Yu Hao, were covered by this mental wave. Falling into a short period of sluggishness, the mental shock doesn't have too much destructive power, but it can make all creatures lose the ability to think in a short period of time. At this moment, most of the southern end of the Star Doe Forest was terribly quiet. The sky, which was extremely clear just a moment ago, suddenly darkened and a thunder-like roar resounded high in the sky. At that moment, the light of the sun was completely blocked by the darkness, and a breathless coercion descended from the sky, and it was trying to push itself the huge body of the Tianmeng ice worm, that had merged into Hui Yu Hao's body shook violently when the thunderous roar sounded. The two small golden eyes turned upwards and looked into the air. There was a look of horror in their eyes. Very dazed, obviously the depression in the sky had nothing to do with it, and it was beyond its cognition. A grey air current fell from the sky as if it had encountered a huge suction force, and it landed on the back of Hui Yu Hao's head in just an instant, and quietly drilled into what? Dare to rob someone with brother. Tianmeng Bingkan was furious, huge mental fluctuations surged in an instant, trying to drive the grey air flow out of Hui Yu Hao's body, a very vague figure emerged behind Hui Yu Hao, the old voice carried an indescribable majesty, holding the sun, the moon, picking the stars, there is no one like me in the world. I never thought that this old man would have a trace of his soul left. Facing Tianmeng Iceworm's huge spiritual impact, this blurry illusory figure seemed not to be affected in the slightest. With a whoosh sound, it got into Hui Yu Hao's head and disappeared. Tianmeng Iceworm didn't dare to intensify the mental impact, because blood had already leaked from Hui Yu Hao's seven orifices. It found that grey air flow was entering Hui Yu Hao's mind. After the middle, it immediately turned into a grey bead the size of a soybean grain, and then fell silent. It neither conflicted with its power nor was it affected by its power. But there are still bastards robbing me. Could it be that heaven is jealous of talents? Brother is so pitiful. Although he was complaining, Tianmeng Iceworm's movements were not slow at all, and the thick white light gradually became more and more solid and slow it was slowly injected into Hui Yu Hao's body, and its body gradually became transparent during this process, and at the same time, its volume was also shrinking rapidly. The moment it began to inject its power into Hui Yu Hao's body, there was no way out. Hui Yu Hao's body had completely changed. It became white like jade, just like the previous Sky Dream Ice Worm, and the wounds on both shoulders healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Ha ha, Tianmeng Iceworm's triumphant voice gradually became smaller, and the huge spiritual force that covered a hundred miles in diameter, before also shrank away, at an astonishing speed, and gradually disappeared. In the depths of the Star Do Forest, several terrifying auras fluctuated violently at the same time, as if they were feeling something, but they were destined to return in vain. Just when the voice of Tianmeng Iceworm completely disappeared, a circle of translucent white halo quietly emerged from under Hui Yu Hao, circling around his body for three consecutive weeks. Afterwards, it faded back into his body and disappeared. Hui Yu Hao had no idea that he really had his first soul ring before he knew it, and it really was an absolutely unique soul ring in the history of Dolua continent. The lustrous white gradually faded away. A layer of faint ice blue began to emerge from under Hui Yu Hao's skin, and it lasted for about 10 seconds, before gradually fading away, 
returning to the original color of his skin. It flew up from the ground silently, with a pale golden thin white membrane, quickly shrunk, and then condensed into a ball, slipped into Hu Yuhao's arms and disappeared, and the Tianmeng ice worm didn't have any breath left. I don't know when it's closed. Except for the fallen Hu Yuhao, only the corpse of the baboon he killed is still there. Everything seems to be back to normal. It did not take long. The speed is galloping here, ah. With an exclamation, a figure sped up instantly and quickly came to Hu Yuhao's side and stopped, we are late, brother Yuhao seems to have been attacked, these soul beasts are really getting more and more arrogant, and they are all out of the Stardo forest. Tang Wei carefully lifted Hu Yuhao up from the ground with a look of depression and worry. Bei Bei went to the baboon and turned the baboon's body over. You could see that the baboon had been slashed obliquely from the chest to a length of one foot. The rest of the wound, even the heart was cut, which is obviously its fatal wound. This is the wind baboon. Judging by its size and muscle strength, it should be at the level of a ten-year soul beast. It is already dead. Bei Bei came to Tang Wei and squatted down. They checked Hu Yuhao's condition together with her. To their surprise, although Hu Yuhao's clothes were badly damaged, they didn't find any scars. Bei Bei touched Hu Yuhao's wrist with the index finger of his right hand, and the white tiger dagger fell into his grasp. A layer of faint blue the blue light flickered on Bei Bei's hand, and suddenly, a layer of blue light appeared on the white tiger dagger, this is a soul tool, Yu Hao should have killed the wind baboon with it, although the wind baboon was only ten years old. Soul beast, but its speed and strength are quite good, and its natal soul skills can attack the enemy. Brother Yu Hao is already quite good at killing it at this age. It seems that our judgment on Yu Hao before was not accurate enough. He should already be a ring soul master level, Tang Wei anxiously checked Hua Yu Hao's body and said, what's the use of saying this now? It's all because I have to wash my hands and face to waste time. If something happens to Xiao Yu Hao because of this, I will never forgive myself. Regardless of him what about his talent? I have already decided that I must persuade him to join our Tang sect. Bei Bei looked at the anxious Tang Wei, his eyes became softer. What he likes most is Tang Wei's kindness from the heart. Don't worry, he's fine. You did you see that his breathing is normal? There is no injury on his body. Judging from the position where he fainted, it should be caused by being knocked against a tree during the fight with the wind baboon. He should be able to recover after a short rest. Tang Wei was stunned for a moment. She raised her head and glared at Bei Bei, then you didn't tell me earlier, it made me anxious. Bei Bei said helplessly, who knew you wouldn't even be able to see this. After it was true that there was no major problem, she was relieved. Bei Bei stood up, looked around peacefully, and silently guarded her side. After Hu Yu Hao passed out, he felt that he had a dream. There are many light spots in it, which can't be seen at a glance, and his line of sight seems to be able to spread to every corner of this space. Just when he was experiencing the magic of this space, the space suddenly surged with golden streaks. The rays of light interspersed. These golden rays converged into ten huge golden halos suspended in mid-air. All the light spots in the space became much larger, because of their appearance. The ten golden halos began to rotate slowly inside each halo. A milky white halo appeared, and the halo became stronger and stronger, and gradually turned into ten huge light spheres suspended there and the height and volume of the entire space increased by an unknown number of times. At this time, one of the light near the ball, an inconspicuous grey light ball appeared. This light ball is much smaller than the other ten light balls. Those light balls are also emitting strong golden light, which seems to drive it away, but the grey light ball is suspended there peacefully, no matter how the golden light impacted, it couldn't have any influence on it. In the end, the ten light clusters could only give up their useless efforts, and each stabilized, shining with a faint brilliance. Hu Yuhao's mind gradually became clear. The dots of light suspended in the air gradually sank below, converging into a pale golden ocean, carrying the ten huge golden white light balls. Only the small gray light balls were still suspended in the air, refusing to gather with these big light balls together. So your name is Hu Yuhao, a sudden voice sounded, and immediately after, Hu Yuhao's sight narrowed instantly. He subconsciously looked down, and saw himself standing naked above the golden ocean, also those ten golden and white light balls, where is this? Why am I here? Hu Yuhao asked in surprise, this is the sea of consciousness, 
or the sea of spirit in your own brain. From now on, this will also be my home. The place is too small. Brother help you. It has been expanded, but your body is too weak, so you can only make do with it. You are the Tianmeng ice worm. Am I not dreaming? Hearing the tone and voice of that speech, Hu Yu Hao was even more shocked. What he saw in front of him everything has completely exceeded his cognition, not to mention that he is only 11 years old, even an adult would be terrified when encountering such a magical scene, dream. If you can have such a dream, wouldn't you be so beautiful? This of course it's not a dream, I've already said it's in your spiritual world. Tianmeng Binken said angrily Hu Yu Hao said blankly, what is the spiritual world? Tianmeng Binken said, you're so stupid that you can how can I explain it to you? Let's put it this way, your own eyes know it. It's the martial soul called the soul eye in your consciousness. I just rubbed your memory. I know everything about you. The soul eye is your martial soul. The soul is also your eyes, and the sea of spirit is the place where your spiritual power is stored. For you, if you want to use the power of the spirit eye martial soul, you need to convert the soul power into spiritual power, and then release it through the spiritual eyes to store the spiritual power the place is your spiritual sea. The specific location can be said to be in the brain behind your spiritual eyes. Now you are consciously immersed in the spiritual sea. The body you see is not your real body. I use spiritual power to help you are condensed to be able to communicate with you. Listening to its fairly detailed explanation, were you how finally understood a little bit, and the fear in his heart also faded a lot. Children are sometimes more sensitive than adults. He can feel this daydream. The eye silkworm really didn't have any malice towards herself, then why did you appear in my spiritual sea? Hui Yu Hao asked again, Tian Meng Binken said, didn't I tell you before? I want to be your soul ring. Wisdom soul ring now I am a soul ring. In order to be your soul ring, I have greatly compressed and sealed my own power. In the future, you will have a soul ring, that is to say, you will become a soul master as you humans call it. However, your talent is really its worse than I imagined. It can be described as ridiculously bad. I really don't know whether my choice is right or wrong. Hui Yu Hao said with some shame, my talent is not very good, but I will work hard. My innate soul power is only level 1, Tianmeng Ice Worm said depressedly, in the future, I will find a way to improve it for you in the day after tomorrow. As the communication continued, Hui Yu Hao became more courageous. Tian Meng Ice Worm, call me Brother Tian Meng, okay. Brother Tian Meng, you said that you are a million year soul beast, is this true? And why did you choose me? I heard that the soul ring that a soul warrior can bear cannot exceed 400 years, but you are a million year soul beast, how could you become my soul ring? Tian Meng Bing can suddenly sighed, you think I am willing to choose you? I can't help it. If I don't have a choice anymore, my life will end, and once I die, I'm afraid my body will also become food for those guys in the Star Doe Forest. In desperation, I can only resort to this plan. Attaching to you humans is my only way out. Want to hear my story? We will be together for a long time in the future, and I don't want to hide anything from you, so we'll just tell you everything. Hui Yu Hao nodded and said, Brother Tian Meng, tell me. Tian Meng Binken said, LM a very ordinary ice worm. Soul beasts were not born in the Star Do Forest, but in the extremely cold place in the north of the mainland. Our ice silkworms are born with spirit and ice attributes, but their combat effectiveness is seriously affected by speed, so they can only be regarded as very ordinary. Soul beast what's more, we have natural enemies. Few of our clansmen can cultivate for more than 10,000 years, but I am an exception. At that time, I thought I was finished, but who knew that I fell into a mass of 10,000 years of cold marrow, and then I fell into a deep sleep. At that time, I was still very weak, and my length was less than 3 inches. This sleep lasted for 10,000 years, etc. When I woke up, I found myself in an ice cave. The original 10,000 years cold essence had long since disappeared, and I absorbed them all, and thus became a 10,000 years soul beast. I was so surprised and inexplicable at that time. But I found that I couldn't find a way out. In that ice cave, surrounded by 10,000 years of ice, extremely hard. Although I am already a 10,000 year soul beast, our ice silkworm clan has always been weak in terms of combat power, and it is impossible to break through by force. 
Fortunately, there are still many holes in the ice cave for me to crawl through, so I crawled inside to find a way out. However, I could not find a way out, but I found a larger group of 10,000-year-cold marrow. With 10,000-year-cold marrow, it means I had food, so I fell into a deep sleep again, and this sleep lasted for tens of thousands of years. This video will end here.